Okay. First, let me give you let me give you the key. Has that come? Huh? Uh, then sir, you write first. Okay. <laughs> you balance. Or device, that's what is the time now? Which is time? What is the time now? 11 40. 11 40. 11 40. Okay, one more should we discuss? Okay, up my uh, so one more part in the sense that uh, they don't believe that is there. Otherwise, so no one will write so that after lunch, okay, so two hours or three hours, the support of happiness we can finish. Hmm? Okay, otherwise, that's when will you write? If I take it till one o'clock, hmm. when will you write then? Or shall I take it till 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock will be right. Huh? Uh, till 12 30, I will take. Huh? Okay, now we started now. Okay? Till 12 30, I will take. 12 30 to 1 30. Mayur, you please put a word to start so that he will be ready by 12 30. Okay? Yes. <clears throat> okay, now, now the first person you look at, the first person you look at, each second 10 power 17 electrons flow from R. Ah, before that, let me give you the key. Let me give you the key. Okay. Key is the like this. For all the questions to say, okay. Are they, you should have told us no, sir this one. How disaster you made, sir. Okay. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, T, 60. We did not get the idea, no, sir. He is. <laughs> He is A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D like this. In that way, I kept the answers. In that way, I kept the answers. You will predict that this one. You have to predict that. Why did you kept that? Really? Okay. Okay. What are you? You should have told the more than sir yesterday. Disaster you made, sir. Huh? Okay. Okay. So A B C D A B C D A B C D like this. Okay, that is the key. That is the key. Okay. Even the next paper also, for some of the questions, another pattern is maintained. From the next person onwards, okay, irregular it becomes. <laughs> because uh, I found that we will take much time. Because uh, okay, putting that answer in a particular option, it is, I found that we will take much time. Okay, then I type it. Okay, for, okay, half of the person is the same pattern. Same pattern is not this one. Another, another pattern. I fix it. Okay. Right? What's actually? Okay, sir. Let, let, let this be. Let this exam be like that. At least our CET exam is not really like that. Huh? Okay, our CET need. Huh? How come? What's the plan? How nice we could be there? How many people is there? Not so good, sir. You are so good. What's the plan? Huh? No. Am I not good? Huh? Someone is telling that I am not good. Huh? Okay. Good. Right. Okay, ah, now this is the first person. So each second 10 power 17 electrons flow from right to left, okay, across section of a wire attached to the terminals of a battery. Calculates the magnitude of current with the wire. Calculates the current with the wire. So look at this here, the solution because you get 10 power 17 electrons are flowing from right to left each second. Okay. See here, each second. 10 power 17 number of electrons are flowing. Okay, so this is in between the two terminals of a battery. Calculate the magnitude of current. So, current is for the amount of charge that goes per second. Amount of charge that is n into d by d n 
10 power 17 into 1.60 to 10 power minus 19 divided by 3, one second. So that is 1.60 to 10 power minus 2 amperes of current flows. Ampere of current flows. Okay, the second option a 60 watt light bulb has a current of 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, so the sum uh, passing through it, calculate the number of electrons passing through it in one hour. So look at this, we have the same problem. 60 watt light bulb, 60 watt light bulb has been given. So it has a current of 0 0.5 amperes. So current is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. Passing through it, calculate the number of electrons passing through that. Then you see how much. In one hour, one hour, one hour means 3600 seconds. 3,600 seconds because uh, one hour is equal to 60 minutes, 60 into 60 seconds, 60 into 60, 3,600. Okay, now, so what do we have to calculate? Then we have to calculate. Okay, so how is that? Yeah, yeah. is equal to Q by Q stands for N into E by T. N into E by T. Okay, so this again, that's I. So 0 0.5, 5 into 10 power minus 1 is equal to L into E, 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 divided by, so 3600, 3600, okay. So this again you see, so 5 into 10 power minus 1 is equal to L into 16 into 10 power minus 22 divided by 36. Did you understand this? 1.6 I have written as 16 into 10 power minus 20, denominator 100 is there. 10 power 2, that also is coming here. 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 22. 10 power minus 22. Okay, so in these two things, for the table can be cancelled. This is 4 times, this is 9 times. This is coming this time, is 21 times. Minus 21. Okay, so n is equal to 30, 45, 45 by 4 into 10 power 21. Okay, so 11.25. 11.25 into 10 power 21. 11.25 into 10 power 25. Okay, but standard representation. Okay, 1.125 into 10 power 22. 1.125 into 10 power 22. So that is the answer. <coughs> that is the answer. That is the answer. Okay, now coming to one more thing. In hydrogen atom electron revolves around the nucleus along a path of radius 0 0.3541 angstrom units, making 6.8 into 10 power 15 revolutions per second. Calculate the equivalent current. Calculate the equivalent current. Calculate the equivalent current. Okay, so look at this. Here you see hydrogen atom electron is revolving around the nucleus along the path. See, this is the nucleus. So this is the circular path in the hydrogen atom. This is the circular path in the hydrogen atom. The radius has been given. Radius R is equal to 0 0.3541 angstrom units. So R is equal to here itself. We will adjust first. Okay. So this is 3541 into 10 power minus 4 into 10 power minus 10 meter. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, otherwise so 3.5 like that you will take. Huh? So 3.5 if I want to take, so that will be how much? Huh? So 3.541 into 10 power minus 10. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, so 3.54, 3.54, 3.5 you take how much? Into 10 power minus 11 meter. 3.5 into 10 power minus 11 meter, approximately. Okay, so what else is given here? 6.8 into 10 power 15 revolutions per second. So what is that? Huh? 6.8 into 10 power 15. So revolutions per second. Revolutions per second. Revolutions per second. So what will it be? What will that be? That will, that will be frequency. That will be frequency. We know that. Okay, so frequency is a reciprocal of time period. Time period is equal to zero. Okay, so T is equal to one by here. I will use one by 
Okay, so that is equal to 6.8. Here to 10 power 15. Everybody is per second in suffers. Right? What is the equivalent current? Equivalent current. Amount of charge. Okay, so amount of charge. Okay, so how do you calculate? Electron revolves. 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 due to 1 by T. 1 by T value. 6.8 into 10 power 15. 6.8 into 10 power 15. Understood? So that's the gap you need to multiply this. So 68, 16, okay. Ten point eight each. So ten power minus four. So I is equal to one point zero eight each minus three. And okay. Option C. Option C. Okay, next time. Ah, question number four. Is this question number four only? Sagar, you were asking school? Some doubt you ask. Question number seven. Question number seven. Okay. Ah, question number four. The charge flowing in a conductor varies with the time as Q is equal to AT minus half B B square plus one by C C C T. Okay, so there is a function. This is the function. There is a function given over here. So what is that? So the charge is given as a function of time. So this is a b plus of b is equal less one by six c b where a and b are positive functions. Find the time of the current that the is the maximum. Okay, maximum current Find the time, not maximum current. To reach the maximum current, I t is equal to how much? T is equal to how much? Okay, so look at this here. You see, Q has been given current V1 by So, you put on the difference between Q by dt, that is equal to that. So, that is a d by dt of AT minus half B square plus 1 by 6 CTQ. 1 by 6 CTQ. Okay, so I is equal to A minus. Bt ah, plus 1 by 2 Cp square. Did you understand this? Differentiation. Differentiation. Okay, now maximum current, I max. When will the current be maximum? In electrostatic, in one of the problems, I told you. Maximum electrostatic force. What did we do? B f by dq is equal to 0. Maximum electric current. The I by D B should be equal to zero. Okay, so this is for maximum current. This is for maximum current in the same Maximum current. Okay, so this is D by D B of A minus D B plus half C B square is equal to zero. Right. Okay, this is here. What is this? Ah. So zero, okay, minus B plus, okay, C D is equal to zero. Therefore, T is equal to B by C. T is equal to B by C. T is equal to B by C. Next, person number five. Person number five. One billion electrons pass from a point P to another point Q in 10 power minus 3 seconds. What is the current in amperes? What is the direction? The direction is not given in the options. That is, okay. So, in the direction, the direction keep aside. What is the current in amperes? So, amperes. What is the current in amperes? Okay. Ah. So, look at this here. You see, 1 billion electrons pass from the point P to another point Q. Okay, 1 billion. 1 billion means how much there? 10 power 1? 10 power 1? 9 minus 9? 9. 
Dat is mij. Tempo waarom? Mij. Tempo waarom mij was mij Nielsen? Tempo waarom mij was mij Nielsen? Nee, nee. Tempo waarom mij was mij? Nee, nee. Tempo waarom was mij? Bilingen. Thousand millions make one billion. Thousand, dat is een okay, English system. Not our Indian system, millions and billions. That is not our Indian system. Our Indian system is a uh, thousand so, whether it's a lakh, so ten lakh, so hundred lakh, so hundred lakh means a crore, uh, hundred crore, nine lakh. That is Indian system. Okay, that is a okay, current system. Okay, now one billion electrons pass from the point P to another point Q in 10 power minus 3. Okay, so P is equal to 10 power minus 3 second. What is the current in amperes? Current I is for how much? Okay, so current I is equal to P by T. So I is equal to L into E by T. So I is equal to L, 10 to the power 9 million electrons into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by 10 to the power minus 3. This 10 to the power minus 3 in this 10 to the power minus 16 times, so I is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus, ah, minus, ah, how much? Seven. Okay. Times. Okay. Ten power one minus seven. Ampere. Okay. Next to question number six. In the electrolysis of silver chloride, a charge of four into ten power five coulomb is flowing through the electrolyte. Calculate the number of silver ions flowing through it. Okay. Look at this. The problem is uh, in the electrolysis experiments. Okay, in the electrolysis, okay, experiment the silver chloride of charge, charge on silver chloride, four into ten power five. Is flowing through the electrolysis. Calculate the number of silver ions flowing through each. So number of silver ions. Okay, so this is here charge Q is equal to gamma. Quantization is okay. Young is equal to 4 into 10 power 5 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 9. Okay, so young is equal to 40 divided by 16 into 10 power how much? Minus 24. Okay, so 40 divided by 16, how much? Two times. Now plus. Plus. Okay, so two points. Okay, how much? Five. Ten power twenty four. Okay, two point five into ten power twenty four. Okay, that's all. No. No. The option is not there here. Ten power twenty four is there. Any 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 option? No. Okay, the option is not there. Okay, for this type of question, sir, there's a mark will be given. Okay, mark it. Okay, that you mark it. Okay. Yes. Ah, so the current through a wire depends on time. I is equal to I naught is alpha D, where I naught is equal to 10 A and alpha is equal to 4 ampere per second. Find the charge that flows across a section okay, of the wire in 10 seconds. Current. Uh, is this one you asked for yesterday? Okay, it has to be. You got it? Eh? Did you get it? You got 500. Okay, so this is here. So look at this is here. The question is uh, ah, the current through your wire depends on time. I is equal to I naught this alpha. Where I naught is equal to 10 ampere values are given. And alpha, which is a constant, has been given as 4 ampere per second. Find the charge of the flows, charge. Q is equal to much across a section of the wire in 10 seconds. Time P is equal to 10 seconds. Time P is equal to 10 seconds. You see, from current, you are getting charge. What will you do? From charge, if you want to get current, what will you do? Differentiation. From current, you are coming back. Good. I is equal to B Q by I not this alpha equal. BQ is equal to I naught this alpha T into B. For total charge, you need to integrate. Okay, so integral 
I and R plus R bar A into B. Then you will be getting total charge. Then you will be getting the total charge. Okay. So Q, which is the total charge of here, I naught into B plus half alpha is That is an integration. That is an integration. Yet the time P is equal to 10 seconds. I naught. C is correct. 300. Okay, next question number 8. An electric current of 2 micro ampere exists in a discharge tube. How much charge flows across a cross section in of the tube in 5 minutes? In 5 minutes. An electric current, current has been given in this case, I is equal to 0. So 2.0 micro ampere. So 2 into 10 power minus 6 ampere. But right. how much charge flows across a cross section? Okay, how much? Okay, charge Q is equal to how much? In time, 5 minutes. 5 minutes. 5 into 60. 300 seconds. 300 seconds. Okay, so Q, this I is equal to Q by T. I is equal to n into E by T, which, okay, I have Q, let's say here Q will be what kind of that. So Q is equal to, so 2 into 10 power minus 6 into, ah, so time, 300, okay, so 3 into 10 power, 6 into 10 power minus 4, 6 into 10 power minus 4 equals okay. Yes, okay. The electron moves in a circle of radius 10 centimeter with a constant speed 5 into 10 power 6 meter per second. Okay, so radius has been given, that is 10 centimeter, and with a constant speed, okay, with a constant speed 5 into 10 power 6 meter per second. Find the electric current at a point on the circle. Okay, on the circle, you get the second is yes. Okay. So look at this here, you see current, constant speed, speed, distance away. Time P equivalent current charge by time. Definition. Current charge is electron is involved. Time period. Understood. So I is equal to R. So E by 2 pi R by V. Therefore, electric current in this particular case, E V by 2 pi R. E V by 2 pi R. Okay, so this is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and velocity 5 into 10 power 6, 2 pi. Okay, so 7 unit cancellation, nothing. Okay, R 10 centimeters. So 3.14. Okay, put R. So R is given as a multiple of okay, so a, a, a seven. Then okay, two divided by seven. If you use cancellation, will become easy. But the point, okay, but there is no such thing. So 3.14 into R. R is 10 centimeters. 10 power minus meter. Ten power minus two meters. So that you will that you need to simplify. You simplify and check the option. 
Option A has to come. Whether you are getting A or not, you tell. Okay, next one. Question number 10. A copper wire of area of cross section 1 millimeter square is carrying a thread of an area. If the number density of conduction electrons is 10 power 25 units per meter cube, find the drift velocity of the conduction electrons. First, uh, list of the data. A copper wire of area of cross section. Okay, area of cross section has been given 1 millimeter square. 1 millimeter square. Okay, that is nothing but 10 power minus 6 meter square. Did you understand? 1 millimeter is equal to 10 power minus 3 meter, therefore 1 millimeter square, 10 power minus 6 meter square. Okay, what else is given? Carrying a current, a current has been given. So 10 ampere. If the number density of the electrons, okay, so let's say here 10 power 28 on meter cube. So I told you, very, very clearly, I told you, small n, about small n. Small n means uh, that is the number of electrons, the number of particles per unit volume. Now, 10 power 28, can we take as a small n? How can you say? Per meter means per unit volume. That is a per unit volume. Okay. 10 power 28, whichever the value is given here, that you can take as a small n. Small n, 10 power 28, per meter per meter cube. Okay. Find the drift velocity of the electron BD is equal to H. So BD is equal to I by N. I by N E A. So I 10 ampere. N 10 power 28. Okay. E 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Okay. A 10 power minus 6. 10 power minus 6. Okay. C, huh? so this again, how do you say now? So this is uh, 10 power minus 20, minus 26, 10 power plus 2, okay, 10 power plus 2, okay, 10 power minus 1, okay, 60. Understood? Yes or no? 10 power minus 1 by 16. Okay, so. Six point two. Mm -hmm. One by? Ah, uh, okay. Options are given in terms of this. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, one by one sixty. Okay. Up to here, one sir. Okay. Answer is wrong. One by one sixty. One by one sixty. One by one sixty. Meter per second. So, according to option, that's what you have. I did not see the option. That's why I think we have the Okay. The copper wire of area of cross section 4 millimeter square is 4 meter long. Okay, it carries a current of an ampere. The number density of free electrons is 8 into 10 power 28 per meter cube. How much time is required by an electron to travel the length of the wire? Okay, so look at this. This problem. So how to do? So what is the given data? A copper wire of area of cross section four millimeter square. Okay, copper wire of cross section area four millimeter square is okay four millimeters or meter. So area of cross section has been given four millimeter square. So that is four into ten power minus six meter square. Okay, four meter long. So length together is equal to four meter. Okay, can you see a current I? This is equal to 10 ampere. The number density of free electrons is 8 into 10 power 28 per meter cube. Per meter cube means per unit volume. Okay, so yeah, small n, it can be taken. So 8 into 10 power 28 per meter cube. How much time is required by an electron to travel the length? Okay, time T is equal to much. The given condition is like this. There is a conductor over here like this. Okay, so the length of this conductor is L. 
right? Now the electron is moving from this end to this end. To do that, what is the time taken that by the electron? Okay, we know one thing. Velocity is equal to distance or displacement by time. Okay? Yes or no? Displacement by time. What is the velocity here? Drift velocity. Ultimately, the final velocity that you are going to have it made is nothing but drift velocity. Drift velocity, displacement by time. So time t is equal to L by drift velocity. So drift velocity you need to find out first. Drift velocity, you need to find out first. Sarchi. Okay, so drift velocity you need to find out. So t is equal to L by. So what is the drift velocity? I by N E A. I by N E A. Understood? Okay. So L N E A by L. So by I. By I. Okay, so L, N, H into 10 power 3, E, 1.6 into 10 power minus 9, A, that is a 4 into 10 power minus 6, divided by 10, divided by 10, that's beautiful, come on, come on, read. And of course, since we have taken all the values in terms of the SI system, you will be getting second. That second you have to converge. The time you will be getting in seconds. A very big number you need. But you need to convert into hours. Five point seven hours. Good. Five point seven hours. So 5.7 hours, this is correct. So are you getting? Huh? Okay, so when remaining people, girls, should I explain? Should I do? Monitor? Multiplication. That's all. Multiplication. Jival, have you got here? Good, very good. Okay. Next, a potential difference of high volt is applied across. A conductor of length is 0.1 meter. If the drift velocity of the electrons is 2.5 meter per minus 4 meter per second, calculate the electron mobility. The electron mobility, actually, yes, sir. Okay. So, give me yesterday, so I did not teach. Mobility. Huh? Okay. So, what do you mean with electron mobility? Ah, for this person, okay, mark will be given. But I will explain. Okay, for this person, mark will be given. Okay. So this is again electron mobility. So in fact, so this is drift velocity that the that concept was going on. No, at that time only I was supposed to tell what I thought. Somehow it got slipped off my mind. Understood? Okay. Therefore, you got the mark. <laughs> huh? Okay. Right. So what okay, there's a drift velocity. What do you mean by drift velocity? Anybody? Any idea? Mobility. Mobility. Electrons mobility. So, what is the meaning of electrons mobility? Drift velocity per unit electric field. This is drift velocity per unit electric field. Drift velocity per unit uh, unit electric field. Okay, Sachin has told that means so this I can consider this 
<laughs> okay, so we should ask for unitary electric field. Okay, so mu is the symbolic function. So mobility, so drift to velocity. But then this is the purple norm. Magnitude of this, by this difference. Magnitude of this intensity of the electric field. Okay, now coming to this problem. Coming to this problem, a potential difference of high volt. So potential high volt is given. Applied across the conductor of length 0 0.1 meter. 0 0.1 meter. If the drift velocity of the electron, so V D is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 meter per second. Calculate the electron's mobility. So E value. E how to calculate? We have a formula. V by we have a formula here. This one, e is equal to V by L. So V is how much? L is how much? 10 power minus 1. Okay, it's going to have 50 volt per meter. 50 volt per meter. 50 volt per meter. Now, mobility, mu, drift velocity by magnitude of intensity of the electric field. So 2.5. 2.5 means. 25 to 10 power minus 5 by 50. So this is 1 by 2, 0 0.5. 10 power minus 5. 10 power minus 5. So how are the answers given here? 5 into 10. Okay. So 5 into 10 power minus 6. And the unit is meter square per volt per second. Okay? Okay. So for this mark will be given to you. Okay? Right, good. Next, if you need a CUT, each person carries one mark, one mark, one mark. Okay. If, okay, 10 meter of long, 10 meter long manganese wire, 0 0.13 centimeter in diameter, has a resistance of 3.4 ohms. Find the resistivity of the material. The resistivity of the material will be calculated. Okay, the resistivity, which is rho, rho value, you need to calculate. Low value, you need to calculate. If 10 meter long magnet wire length, okay, so 0 0.13 centimeter in diameter, okay, okay, 0 0.13, 13 now ah, into 10 power minus 4 divided by 13 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 2. Are you understanding it's how I am? Uh, removing the decimals, the exponents of 10, remaining people, both boys and girls. Understanding? Okay, so this is radius. That implies A is equal to 5 R square. So 22 by 7, if you take, huh? is there any chance of getting cancelled with the other uh, resistance of 3.4 is given? In the 3.4, 7 will not go. Huh? 7 will not go. That's why 3.14 you take. So 3.14 into, so 13 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 2 whole square. So there's an area of cross section. Okay, so find the this again, resistance has been given. So which is some 3.4 ohms, 34 into 10 power minus 1 ohm. For resistivity rho is equal to H. We know that resistivity is equal to R into A by L. R into A by L. Okay, so R. That is 34 into 10 power minus 1. Yay, 3.14 into, okay, so this is 169, 10 power minus h here divided by 4. Okay, divided by L, L value 10. L value 10. Okay, now see here, this is 2 times, this is 17 times. Again, this move will go here. This is 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 right? Okay. So 10. Ah, so this again, you see. 10 for minus 1, 10 for minus each. 10 for minus 9. This is also coming up. 10 for minus 2. 10 for minus 2. So rho is equal to what did you get now? 17 into 1.52. Into 169. 
into one. Okay, ten power minus ten. Ten power minus ten. So that you need to multiply. The ten powers you need to adjust. Then you may get ten power minus eight like this. Understood? Like this. So all options to carry ten power minus eight. So this is you need to adjust the power. Okay, one ten power minus two. You have to adjust in this. Okay, like this. Okay. Come on, come on. Please do. Remember, if you can't get it, if you don't get it, tell me. I will make it. No problem. Okay, so next one. In the above problem, what would be the conductivity of the line? Conductivity. What would be the conductivity of the line? Conductivity of the line. Conductivity is sigma. The simple one. One by rho. Understood? So the simple of this is the unit. Okay, like this. Rho here, you can do it. Yes, understood? Okay. All remaining people, so did you get that? Sapna? Where is Sutta? Ah, Sutta is there. Okay. Ah. Okay. Right. So the next one, fifteen one. So find the resistance of thousand meters of copper wire, twenty five square millimeters in cross section. The resistance of copper wire is one by fifty eight ohm per meter. Okay, length and one square millimeter cross section. Okay, see here, the resistance is given indirectly. Okay, the resistance is not given directly over here, and first of all, you need to find out resistance. Okay, right. Okay, so look at this. Here, the resistance of copper is 1 by 50 H. What is the time now? Time, time. 12 million? Ah, 12, 25. Okay. Uh, then it's the exam, it's 12 million? 1230. Okay, shall we start then? Huh? So, this is the presumption, this is the outer line, we will discuss. Outer line, first this paper, next step, second paper. Okay, so when the time is left out, then I will be starting the next chapter. But it is. Okay, so get ready for test.